Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this Illustrator video. Now this is a very quick video and what we're going to do is look at direction handles in Illustrator and how we can manipulate unlocked direction handles as if they were locked. Now just a recap, I have a document open here in Illustrator and I've got a series of paths. Now there is a path here that I just drew with the pen tool and this is how direction handles work when they're locked. They work like a sort of teeter-totter. You drag one and the other one travels with it. So they're sort of locked together. In this shape up here, these direction handles have been unlocked to get around this curve. And you do that by holding the Alt or Option key and just dragging on a direction handle and that unlocks them. The problem with unlocking them is that you can't then lock them back together again. So if I want to manipulate this curve, I can only do it one side at a time. That is, unless you know this technique. I'm here with the direct selection tool or the white arrow tool. I'm going to select over this point and I'm going to click on the scale tool. Now with the scale tool selected, look what happens when I start manipulating one of these direction handles. The two of them are being manipulated at the same time, so the relationship between them is being maintained. You don't actually see the handle, so it's a little disconcerting, but you can drag to remake your shape. Now there is a bit of a gotcha with this. Let's have a look at this one here because here are two direction handles again which have been unlocked otherwise they would be in a sort of teeter-totter process and they don't do that. They've definitely been unlocked. Let's go to this. Let's go to the scale tool and let's see what happens now. Well, it's not working the way we thought it would work. So I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to rotate it so that the direction handles are pretty much going in a vertical direction together. So let's just have a look at this. See now how they're in a sort of vertical direction. Now when I go to the scale tool, I can go and scale these handles. So they're being manipulated together. And of course, once I've got my shape the way I want it, I can go back and rotate it into the position that I had it in. So there is a way of manipulating direction handles in Illustrator as if they were locked, even though you have unlocked them. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. If you did enjoy the tutorial, please click the subscribe button and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. You can also visit my website at projectwoman.com to find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Illustrator and Lightroom.